These boys come from fatherless homes, headed up by single mothers. They don't have a male influence in their life. Our job is to teach them the disciplines of manhood. I really do believe that young men have to see a vision. They have to see where they're going. They have to see different examples in front of them. And it gives them ideas of what perhaps they would like to be. And even if they don't see exactly what they'd like to be, they'll be on the right track. them another set of people that they can look at to emulate, to be like, at least from the standpoint of how they guide themselves, how they value what's important in society, how they value themselves, how they value their fellow human beings. Right here, Sam. Right here, Sam. Right here. Sam. Right here. Sam. We're trying to show the importance of understanding that they're not alone in this fatherlessness and that making sure that that is not a barrier towards their ultimate success. And understanding that their success is not contingent upon their circumstances. Their success is a contingent upon the choices that they're willing to make. Image is very important. You guys have aspirations, you have dreams, or things that you want to do. You have to dress the part. It's very, very important. Take care of your mothers, do your schoolwork, do all the things you're just supposed to do. I think that you know, uh, Mr. Harvey has brought together some of the you know the most dynamic uh, men around the country and the world from all different walks of life to really come in and, and pour into the young men that are here. And I think that it's pretty amazing, you know, how wide he has gone to find experts in each field. There's not a single thing that you wish to do that can't be done. There's not a single obstacle that you seem to see that hasn't been overcome. On this stage, you see men who are every single day working to overcome the obstacles that remain in the rest of their life. What I first have to do with these boys is take them away from familiar surroundings. See, they know how to act on a the block. They know how to act on the streets. And so we bring these boys into this setting that's country, that's open air, that's fresh, ain't no street lights. It calms them right on down. I've been having a lot of fun. You know how cool it is to breathe underwater? Like just, just breathing underwater, it's, the whole subject is just mind blowing. I'm also teaching this young man, it's a team sport, all right? And in your life, you will work with teams. You will go different area, work with different people, and you guys will form a team. You don't have to know the people you're working with, but so long you have, a, you have that skill, you'll be able to fit within that environment. Their health is their wealth. I mean, you gotta learn to take care of yourself early. And if you do, the benefits are long term. So this is something that'll help move our country forward by giving these young people healthy life skills. That's what it's all about. God. Thank you for this wonderful day, this wonderful week. You gave us with the army, this physical training, this food, everything, Lord. We pray in your name. We must survive the next few hours or few days, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to come here to Steve Harvey's camp, Lord. Learn how to be more of a leader on how to follow directions, how to respect people, and how to be a man. Stay on the right path. Part of being a man is doing stuff that we don't necessarily want to do, but you know what I'm saying, have to. Manhood coming, manhood coming, ready or not.